So one odd idea I had, as I think about all the variations of family structures that can exist and the variations in ways we can live, uh, I gotta consider them all. And one of them is uh, gender-specific housing. Uh, there are tribes and groups in the, in the world that have actually had men and women not living together. Uh, apparently they hook up at some point, they must have some, you know, they work on things together, people, there's division of labor, people provide things. But for some reason the men and women don't live together, like which parts of living together don't they do? I don't know. Presumably they sleep, they sleep in different buildings. Um, kitchens could be semi-public to allow some fluidity there, I don't know. But there are people who feel like living with their own gender. I think that's fine. Uh, I don't know that I want to do that, but uh, I think there should be a housing area set up for all women and one for all men. And we could call those nunneries in a monastery if we wanted to. That brings in a spiritual aspect, but there doesn't have to be a spiritual aspect to it. It just, the, the primary distinguishing attribute of these spaces is that they are gender specific. And any particular space like that could have its own rules regarding uh, visitors, what do you do with children who are the wrong gender? <laughs> uh, how do these things get handled? Uh, but you know, if people want to gender separate, I guess that's fine. Uh, they are gender separated largely anyway. I, I, I see so many mean things people say on social media. They should probably separate. Uh, there's lots of people who are, you know, really caught up in gender stuff and that's their big trip and they should probably go hang out with their gender for a while and then hopefully get rid of some of their prejudices if that's part of their motivation. I don't know. But whatever. I think it's a legitimate way to go. So setting up uh, buildings, shared buildings with uh, apartments and condos where uh, the only owners perhaps can be one gender and then other than that, whatever. Or it could be that only that gender is allowed in that space. There could be gender-specific spaces. Uh, certainly I can imagine you know, gender-specific festivals. There are several of those. Uh, mainly it's women, I think. I've heard of women-only festivals. Oh, the men-only festivals are usually very gay. Uh, I don't know if that's always the case, but uh, you know, rainbow fairies, etc. Um, I think that's what they're called. So, I don't know, some people want it, they can do that. I prefer mixed gender myself, uh, but I like women. I don't mind having men around if they're not assholes. Actually, more and more, I don't think the women should be assholes either. It's very inconvenient, and they're really good at it in tricky ways. So, anyway, yeah, gender-specific spaces are possible. Gender-specific events are possible, uh, although I don't totally get it.